then you click view library and you choose how to play in the how to play library we have keyboard touch additional tutorials we will be clicking start here keyboard and you have six more choices you go to camera and portfolio once you're on camera and portfolio you click create world and wait until minecraft education edition has loaded your world okay now you read what is on your screen click how uh, you can read on the chalkboard or you may click the hint or read the hint as instructions so now we are walking towards the camera right click to take a picture then there is your selfie activity completed you go to the next area next area you walk forward going to the courtyard right now you can you are holding your camera so you can right click on your camera to take pictures so one of the instructions is to click a picture of the horse so right click horse another is the waterfalls you can click on the waterfalls right click and then you can also take a picture of the NPC there once you are done because this is the first level first area you go to your NPC you right click so if you're done taking pictures then you click I'm done and activity is completed notice that you also lost your camera in your hot box so you move forward you go to the next level you will meet another npc or non-playing character you already have in your hot box your portfolio it is hinted that you will right click with the portfolio to view it right click now this is your portfolio this is where your pictures will be posted or will be kept so just press x you can continue now you notice that uh, once you're done opening your portfolio you click your npc right click to talk and since we're done we click i'm done so activity is already completed and the hint tells us to go to the next area the next area is here notice you also lost your camera and your portfolio for the meantime now you have a quill a book and quill on your hand so what you can do is to right click on the book and quill write in it but in order for us to save our files we go to our npc and ask for another book and quill you can press the book and quill button below for another one so it will automatically show on your hotbox you have two book and quills already okay so you can edit one let's edit this one or you can click i'm done which is your lesson completed notice your camera and your portfolio are also back so you can use them now to go around town and to take pictures so one of the instructions was to take a picture of a bench so we can take the picture of this bench for example so press number three because my camera is on my third hot box there and then since we need pictures of all our npc i will go down and take his picture and cheese and the picture of the lady upstairs i 
Another instruction is to take a picture of a white door. So we will explore the town looking for a well and a white door. So let's uh, turn right. Let's check out the stairs here. Okay, it seems to be like a market or a park, probably a market. Stairs going down. It's another bench. To explore, take a look. Oh, there's a white door. Let's take a picture of that. And I can see a well also. So I will go back. Take a picture. Notice that I can't take a picture even if I right-click. Probably because my portfolio is full. I'm pressing number 4 and checking my portfolio. Open. Okay. Now my portfolio is full. Notice it already only contains 7 pictures. So what can I do? What you do is you go to your book and quill. I'm pressing number 2 book and quill so number page one is where you will enter your last name your first name your ID your name in Minecraft and your grade and section Okay, once that's done, you click on page 2. This one is for writing. This one is for painting, putting pictures. So put pictures. Put your selfie first. Then on page 3 are the NPCs. This is the first NPC. There's the second NPC. Oh, here he is. Second NPC. And page 5 is the third NPC. You also have to put pictures of the horse. The bench. And you follow the instruction what page is supposed to be the bench and the waterfalls. Okay, once you're done, do not click sign because it will automatically like close the whole uh, book and quill. What you just do is press X so that you can go back to it. Now, I'm going to take a picture of the door. Press number 3 to hold my camera and to use my camera by taking a picture. Now, remember we saw a well. Let's take a picture of the well. There. There. Use. Take a picture. Okay. We're almost done. I'm going to edit my last book and quill. Okay. Post the picture of the door. And the well okay take note that it seems that you're already done with your with your book and quill so what do you do is click again your book and quill open you sign it sign you put your title here so mini task one sign and close there's no going back once you sign and close this huh Notice it's uh, purple and it's glowing already, meaning it's done. You've created the journal out of it already. So you open it again, press right-click again, 
and click export we are going to save it in pdf so it will save on my desktop meaning task one by pinky a save okay once it's done you're already finished so you can press escape